in this session, we are going to open your account. So log in to your existing Amazon account if you've got one, otherwise sign up. Amazon want you to only have the one account, so it's much preferred to actually do it this way. Pop in your existing password. And here are the terms and conditions. Do have a flick through them if you want to have a good read. And then you do have account information to set up and you will need to set that up before you can publish your book. Go into this area here, the your account area at the top. And it may well ask you for more security, in which case just follow the instructions to do that. Okay, so here we are. Now we can start filling out the boxes. Obviously your legal name, address, and further details such as your date of birth and phone number. I'm going to obscure these, obviously, as they contain personal information. And then when you've completed those boxes, click Save and Continue. It takes you to the next page, which is Account Details, Getting Paid. So decide whether you are an individual or a corporation. Most of you will be individuals. If that account holder isn't in your name, edit your identity and change that part. Otherwise, move on to the Getting Paid section. You want to say which country your bank is in and whether it's a checking or savings account. Most of them will be checking. And IBAN number. Your IBAN number is your international bank account number and you can find this on most banking apps. Your BIC code is also known as your SWIFT BIC code. And again, you should be able to find this in the account information on a banking app. If it's not on your banking app, just give your bank a call. Again, in this section, we want to choose individual or corporation for business type. Pop in your date of birth using the little calendar icon there and your account holder name. If the address is the same as the previous one, select existing address, otherwise enter a new one and then click add. And next we will do the tax information. It will just ask you to save at the bottom and then we can go on to do the tax questionnaire in the tax information section. So click that box. Again, pick whether individual or business. Are you a US citizen, US permanent resident, green card holder, or other US resident alien? So for those of us in the UK, the answer here is no. Obviously complete it as relevant to yourself. Are you acting as an intermediary agent? And by filling out all of these boxes here, it will populate a form, which you will then go on to electronically sign. And this gives you a form to show that you are not a US taxpayer. Your taxpayer identification number you should find on either your P60, or if you are self-employed, it is your UTR, your unique tax reference number that you use to do your tax return. Any concerns at all, call the tax office and ask them to provide it. If you don't have a unique taxpayer reference number, you can use your national insurance number. So scroll down a little and hit the yellow button at the bottom. And here is the self-generated form. It's called a W8BEN form. Have a glance through, make sure everything's correct. Obviously, there's going to be lots of empty boxes here, but don't worry about that. Tick the box to certify that you've got the capacity to sign and then just type your full name. Click the yellow button to submit and you can exit the interview. I would print that form off and keep it with your tax information too. Click to save and you are ready to go. Mm -hmm.